I shall see if I can drill those two screws out because there's no way I can actually get them out. We've managed to loosen those screw heads. We've probably melted the plastic but it's coming apart now. So I'll zoom in a bit because it's very likely it'll all spring apart and I'll lose everything. Here we go. Well, that wasn't too bad. Right. Well, that's the two screw heads I had to drill through and by drilling them I've probably heated them up and that's melted the plastic and released them because they're still in place. Yeah, I think we're out of luck there. The plastic bit there that's supposed to grip the inside of the spring is broken. In fact, I saw a little bit of it laying around down here somewhere. Just a tiny little bit of white, white plastic. Yeah, there it is. So that should be in there, gripping the inside of the spring. I don't think we're going to get very far with this. Even though I've managed to get those screws out, there's too many broken bits in here. Like the tooth that's missing off there. We'll have a look and see what we can see here. I'm not an expert on clockwork mechanisms and I can't get this fully apart this this plastic piece won't come off because it's held in place by that gear that goes through to there and I can't separate them so I'll just have to do my best to talk you through what I can see this is the gear that's completely rusty on the end of the shaft and where that's completely rusty there should be a gear that drives the back axle. So that goes through there and makes contact with this gear. On the back of there there's another little spring effect, I don't know if it's a clutch, that's probably what it is. In there is a white plastic bobbin or pulley that winds up or this string is wound up on. You might be able to see it turning now or if I just turn it the other way you can see the string being drawn in. On the string there's this plastic piece here that I think that knot stops the string going all the way through and it pulls that plastic piece down which this piece that pivots that the other end of that is a hook there that goes onto that ratchet a stop of some sort I'm sure some clockwork expert can give all the right terms for these pieces there's a slot there that this gear sits in In that square hole there, that gear is keyed in. So when that gear is in that position, 
turning that gear turns this gear but then we've got this which actually moves that little gear round to there so it makes contact with that gear and then that's the clockwork spring that is actually wound up as you pull the spring as, as you pull the string so I don't expect that's explained it very clearly to anybody but I'm not an expert on these things I can just see how these bits go together so that would be on there that would be on there bits to line up that's that gear there because it's rusty has expanded and doesn't fit in that hole very well it should be free turning but it's jammed solid and then that spring on there so that holds that little ratchet effect on there and then we should have a gear on there to turn the back wheels not my best disassembly because there's too many broken bits I just can't put it back together and make it work oh and that bit there one of those is the ones that moves his tail Yes, as that turns, that moves that bit. I'm afraid that's the best I can do and it's not going to work because there's too many broken bits in there. If you missed the previous episode, that's the gear that goes on that rusty shaft there. And that gear turns that gear, which turns the wheels, and it also turns the propeller. And I'm very disappointed that I'm not going to be able to get it all back working. I suppose it might be possible to rig up a little electric motor to run that instead. So I won't throw this away, I'll put it in a box and work on it one day.